When we came to this area, we came because nobody cares about this area. Now they want to convert in a beautiful and exclusive area. But how about us? We want changes. We want beautifications. We want doing better things in this area but with the same people. So the, the crisis that this the community is, is in right now developed over the past decade. And it's actually, the, the cause of it is pretty simple, that USC went over the course of the past 10 years, USC went from being a majority com commuter campus, a primarily commuter campus, to being a primarily residential campus. And it took in thousands more students and increased its enrollment. But it outsourced the housing. So it, basically, over most of the past 10 years, the USC has housed, um, on average, about 20% of its students, leaving the other 80% to find their housing in the surra you know, surrounding communities. Uh, you, you know, to, for apartments, yeah, we end up get doing without because USC students, you know, it's not that we're mad at the USC students, we're upset with the landlords. The landlords are, are trying to, you know, make more money and they don't want to rent to us. And that's what makes us homeless, you know. As I said, I used to live up the street there 50 years ago. I went back there to try to rent an apartment for them, man, and they said, oh, this is for students. The, the irony is that it's illegal to rent to to have rents that are only for students. Even if that weren't also, when a rent goes from 300, 500, even 600 a month up to uh, a, you know, 2,000 to 3,000 dollars a month, which is what most of these homes and apartments are now going for, um, you know, those are Westwood prices. Our, our, our folks can't afford those kinds of housing costs. But this property was bought by speculators, that's all. And they exploited it to the utmost. Yes, he was in complicity with them, okay? Of course they were. The, you know, they have uh, expanded quite a bit, you know? And uh, they're not seeing what's happening to us. This building has a very interesting story. Many years ago, like a A, five years ago was a full, completely full of family living by Section A. Unfortunately for our families, they get in new contracts and they don't accept the new Section A contracts. And now, if you notice, it's only for students. And it's, it's really, really sad because nobody cares about our families. USC is poised to do another, actually an enormous expansion to grow by um, pretty much doubling in size um, from about 2010 to 2030. They're, they've created uh, a master plan for expansion. It is called uh, the University Park Master Plan 2030. And the concern is that um, as the plan has been laid out so far, the things that have been presented to the public, we're sure that it, it's just going to increase the displacement. We want to have the opportunity to work in some way where a student has the right place to live, and, but we not displace our community. We have the right to stay in this area because we are living for so many years. And we help this area when nobody are interested in to invest in ours. The two, the two things that we really want to see in a master plan to address what's been happening in this neighborhood over the past decade are the, the preservation of the existing affordable housing, really save what's left, um, and the creation of lots of new affordable housing for both local uh, community members and students, um, so that actually the, the students are part of the community. At the same time, economic development that includes local hiring, that includes living wage jobs and assistance to small businesses um, so they can remain here 
um, and improve and prosper. We can live in this area both students and community, and we can learn from from students and and students learn from from us. The truth is, most universities have done a, a really bad job of this. When push comes to shove, most universities completely forget, when they act as developers, they completely forget about all of their moral and ethical and educational aspects. And what they do is they act like corporations. USC has been no different in that respect. It has a chance now to, in fact, take the lead, to be a model, and to do a really inspiring expansion, one that integrates itself into the surrounding community and helps lift that community up. Uh, again, rather than push that community out and replace it with, with other people. It's much more exciting. Yes, it's more challenging, it's more difficult, but it's much, much more uh, exciting to, to imagine USC lifting up the surrounding neighborhood and serving as a model for the thing that it claims to be, you know, a college with a conscience. Our, our essence are right here, and for us it's too difficult to, to go away like nothing. We have that right and we want to fight for our community.